So, you know, using Wi-Fi is like, it's like ordering a pizza with extra toppings. But when you get the pizza, it's sort of like you get one pepperoni. But you're kind of expecting something like a meat lovers or something to that extent. But you're kind of left with a cheesy disappointment. And that brings me to Wi-Fi really never delivers on its full potential. And you know, that's why I have a Ethernet adapter, which is kind of necessary because most laptops today don't even have, it, have an Ethernet port. Now my MacBook Pro supports Wi-Fi 6 and under ideal conditions, I should get up to 9.6 gigabytes per second. And I guess an example of ideal situation is a router that also supports Wi-Fi 6 and it's you know, placed in an ideal location in the home. Uh, and maybe the router has the most current drivers, which all those conditions, it's a lot and a lot of different variables. And I think it's somewhat impossible from reaching that desired 9.6 uh, gigabytes per second. Now I couldn't even get past a gig with my iPhone 14 Pro Max with it laying it on top of my router, which also supports a Wi-Fi 6. Now, before I continue, I, I really hope, because I make these videos for you guys to get some value. If you are getting some value, I would consider subscribing so we can hang out and talk tech in our next uh, video. I try to make videos every week around Apple tech news. Other than that, um, back to the Belkin adapter. Now, Belkin, they're a recognizable brand, and that's one of the main reasons I picked up this adapter. Uh, they've been around for 40 years, and if you kind of look around the unit itself, it has this glossy black plastic, and it doesn't actually feel cheap. You have these two LEDs. You have a green one, which determines if you're connected to a network, and you also have this yellow one, which tells us if data is being transferred it also has an integrated cable, which is three and a half inches long. Now, interesting enough, Anchor, which is a somewhat recognizable brand, but not as recognizable as Belkin, makes a very similar adapter, which actually, what I can see, has a better build quality. It's actually made of aluminum. And from the looks of it on Amazon's page, it looks like it actually matches the MacBook Pro. So, you know, you can decide to go with that brand. If that's something you're interested in, I do have some other Anchor products and they're, they're pretty good. Now in terms of setup, the setup was very straightforward. You will need a, a CAT6 cable that supports up to 10 gigabytes per second. But also make sure when you're actually plugging the CAT6 cable into the router, plug it into the right port. Now I have AT&T and they have a five gig port, but that's blue. And then we have the yellow ones, which supports one gig. So just make sure you plug it into the proper port. If you don't know, I would say check with your internet service provider, but more than likely the ports are gonna be clearly labeled. Other than that, I don't realize the, I don't feel that the adapter gets warm if I've been using it for quite some time. Now I actually pay for two gigabytes from AT&T, but they do offer three plans. The one gigabyte is $80 and then the two gigabyte is $110, which I think is somewhat of a sweet spot. And if you really want to go crazy, they do have a five gig for $180. Other reasons I picked this guy up is because I'm kind of a geek. I ain't gonna lie. And this may be kind of weird, but speed test to some extent kind of excites me. Probably aging myself, but I remember the days of AOL with 28K, a 28K connection. It sounds crazy, but a 28K connection. We were pumped up when we got 56. So take that for what you want. Other than that, we always get all these AOL discs in the mail, which I recall. Um, other reasons I, you know, decided to go with two gigs and um, to go with this adapter is bandwidth buffer. Uh, now, one gigabyte of, uh, one gigabyte connection is plenty. I think it's more than enough, but I'm not a millennial, but I kind of you know, identify as a millennial and we really don't have any patience for buffering. Don't want to wait, even if it's for a second. I want to browse YouTube like I'm changing channels on a TV. Now, some of you guys may be too young to even understand what, what that means, but, you know, it's just kind of instant. Also, you know, when, I guess, don't peak usage, 
uh, you know, maybe your neighbors are using uh, their internet, that can come, kind of diminish the speed. You also have things like Wi-Fi interference that can also diminish the speed, particularly if a lot of devices are on the same channel. So just kind of keep that in mind. Other than that, the adapter uh, works it works flawless. You just kind of plug it in and that's pretty much it. I would say just make sure you turn off your Wi-Fi because the Wi-Fi would supersede the connection if you have it plugged into your MacBook Pro. But if you guys have any questions about the adapter, let me know in the comment section below. Um, I'll leave a link if you're interested in picking one up. Other than that, um, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Later. Bye-bye.